Welcome to Soul Planet. We make solar for everybody. Three easy steps to install Soul Planet inverters. Watch this short installation video. Download the app. Install the inverter and connect with the app. This video is intended for qualified installers. Please refer to the safety instructions included in the box. Soul Planet 3K to 5K single phase hybrid inverter is a high quality inverter which can convert solar energy to AC energy and store energy into battery. The energy produced from the inverter shall be used to optimize self consumption, then charge battery. Exceed power could export to grid. Loads will be supported in priority by the system, then battery power. Exceed consumption power will be drained from grid inverter. It can provide power for emergency use during the grid loss by using the energy from battery and inverter generated from PV. This video illustrates how to mount, install, and commission Soul Planet single phase hybrid inverter. Soul Planet inverters are quick and easy to install, only requiring a standard set of tools. Thoroughly inspect the packaging upon delivery. If you detect any damage to the packaging, which indicates the inverter may have been damaged, inform the responsible shipping company immediately. We will be glad to assist you if required. Carefully check all the components in the carton. In case anything is missing, please contact your dealer. Soul Planet inverters are efficient and reliable. All product information is on the outside of the inverter and connections are conveniently placed on the bottom. Avoid exposing the inverter to direct sunlight, rain and snow to ensure optimal operation and extend service life. Mount the inverter on a vertical wall. Position the wall bracket horizontally. Use the wall bracket as a drilling template and mark the positions of the drill holes. Drill holes with a drill. After drilling holes in the wall, place screw anchors into the holes. Then attach the wall mounting bracket to the wall using the self-taping screws delivered with the inverter. Hand the inverter onto the wall mounting bracket. Check both sides of the heat sink to ensure that it is securely in place. Secure the inverter to the wall mounting bracket on both sides using the accompanied screws. To ensure adequate heat dissipation, the clearances between the inverter and other objects are recommended as follows. Switch off the miniature circuit breaker and ensure it against being inadvertently switched back on. The AC cable requirements are as follows. Loosen the swivel nut of AC connector. Insert the crimped conductors into corresponding terminals and tighten screws with the accompanied Allen key. Insert the adapter to the socket element, stuff the seal ring into the adapter and tighten the swivel nut. Plug the AC connector into the socket for the AC connection.
If required, you can connect a second protective conductor as equipotential bonding. Disconnecting the PV array, make sure the AC circuit breaker is connected and the DC switch is in the off position before stripping 12mm off the cable insulation. Route the stripped cable all the way into the DC connector. Ensure that the stripped cable and the DC connector have the same polarity. Press the clamping bracket down until it audibly snaps into place. Ensure that the cable is correctly positioned. Push the swivel nut up to the thread and tighten. Connecting the PV array. Check whether the DC connector has the correct polarity. Ensure that the open circuit voltage of the PV array does not exceed the maximum DC input voltage of the inverter. Connect the assembled DC connectors to the inverter until they audibly snap into place. Ensure that all DC connectors are securely in place. Seal the unused DC inputs with sealing plugs so that moisture and dust cannot penetrate the inverter. Screw the cable terminal lugs to the socket through the battery terminal cover. Tighten the battery terminal cover and cable gland nuts. The communication is divided into four ports, each of which has different functions and cannot be connected to the wrong port. The port distribution is as follows. Remove the communication plate from the inverter. Loosen the swivel nut of the cable gland on the communication plate. Remove the sealing plug. Lead the stripped cable through the cable gland and communication plate. Press the latch of the smart meter terminal and insert the stripped cable accordingly. Make sure the cable is connected firmly. RS485 cable pin assignment as below. Check the cable with the cable tester. Make sure the cable is connected. Insert the smart meter terminal to the socket. Insert the cable into the socket. Attach the communication cover to the inverter with M4 screws and tighten the swivel nut. Take off the ceiling cap and tighten the antenna to inverter. Check the PE connection with a multimeter. Make sure that the inverter's exposed metal surface 
has a ground connection. Check the grid voltage. Check that the grid voltage at the point of connection of the inverter complies with the permitted value. Switch on the miniature circuit breaker, DC switch and batter switch in turn. Once the DC input voltage is sufficiently high, the batter voltage is within the operation range and the grid connection conditions are met. The inverter will enter the waiting state. The inverter is equipped with five LED indicators which provide information about the various operating states as follows. Now download the app and connect the inverter. 